Greetings, today is November the 14th of 2022. It is now two weeks since the last time we all dressed up like this. Um, so we did uh, get into some of those Ghostbusters drinks that come with the little Stay Puft toy. And this magnificent feast here represents the last of the Halloween candy. So here, you've earned it. You guys can eat those while I'm talking. Many, many years ago, in the 1980s, a little toy company that you might have heard of called Hasbro, the Hassenfield Brothers, I think is what, how it originally started um, back in the day. I remember reading old comic books that belonged to my uncles, and it would talk about the Hassenfield Brothers. Got shortened to Hasbro. And they had, in their G.I. Joe collection, a Steel Brigade figure that you could order through the mail. And you could personalize it. Now, all the Steel Brigade figures looked exactly the same. They were wearing a helmet. They were wearing gloves. So, the only thing that was personalized was the file card. And it wasn't even like a file card on a regular G.I. Joe, you know, package. It was like a printout on a piece of paper. But it was whatever information you had sent in. I remember mine was codename Four Eyes, which was also the license plate on my first car. Um, so, yeah. Been wearing glasses a long time in my life. Now, I had the thought then. Well, this is a ripoff. It's just a, it's just a helmet. Everybody gets the same figure. What they ought to do is allow you to personalize it. Have multiple different heads, multiple different beard, mustache, clean shaven, different hair colors. Heck, do, you know, heads for the women. And let you select the figure that would most resemble you. Guess what I accidentally invented all those years ago? The Selfie Series. Should have patented it. I sound like Nana now. Uh... My mother claims to have been the first person to ever come up with the idea for pantyhose because my grandfather worked in a hosiery mill when he came back from World War II. Uh, and she had the idea that she didn't like them coming down. She wanted them sewn onto a pair of panties. So yeah, my mom invented pantyhose. I invented the selfie figure. And also I invented TiVo, but that's a story for another day. So I said on the Halloween video that one of these had arrived on November the 7th, which is my wedding anniversary. I got emails saying the other two were ready and were shipping. So now we've got all three and the dog. So <laughs> let me uh, open this one first because the other two arrived at the same time. I don't know which one is which. I have the brown box isn't taped. So hang on a second. most riveting part of any video is when I get really quiet while opening a box. Alright, so here is Selfie Series figure number one. This one should be the one that looks like me. Alright. Drum roll, please. There we go. I mean, it's a guy with a beard, so yeah, I guess it looks like me. They didn't give you an option for glasses, and of course the action figures all have way more hair than I do. Uh, so it's... <laughs> you laughed a little too loud. <laughs> Terrified him over here. So, that is selfie series number one. That is the one that's supposed to be me. Now, let me take a good look at it my own self here. Yeah, doesn't really look that much like me. Uh... <laughs> The, the neck is black. I guess we're all going to have to buy turtlenecks or at least dickies to go under our flight suits if we want to resemble our figures. And they don't even put your name on it. It just says rookie on all the bodies. But there's number one. Let's find the other two here, guys. <laughs> Merry, Merry early Christmas. Yeah, these arrived um, a couple days ago and it was raining outside. So that's why it's in a big plastic bag like that. I thank you to the post office for doing that. All right, don't know which one is which, just by glancing at the boxes here. So we will just open one and then open to Uta. Drum roll, numero duo. It is Zach. All right. There we go. That's like this, we, we're opening them in the order that we ordered them then, because we did yours before his, right? I think so. My wife kept complaining that every time I would try to do the digital capture on Zach, that it looked more like me. Uh, and we would redo it and redo it. And it looks like you. It looks like you. And I finally said, that is no longer a valid argument, because he does look like me. And everybody says, he looks just like you. So if 
we're getting it into the zone that it looks more like me than mine did, then we're okay. All right, Zach, there is your very own Selfie Series action figure. Pretty cool. So I guess we know what's in the third box. Yeah, me. It'll be the one with no facial hair on it, since he's the clean-shaven son. Three of those now. Oh, it slid right out of the box. <laughs> All right, so drum roll. There is Orion's, and really on the digital capture, yours one was the one that looked the most like you. So, wow, that's a. Uh, there's yours. Hold yours up. I'll grab mine. All right, so selfie times three. Uh, we have gotten these. You're slightly off camera. Come on in. Uh, selfies times three. Uh, we have now gotten those in the mail, but, and I forgot who did this, somebody on Facebook had a really great idea and said, but I always wear a Ghostbusters hat when I'm in my cosplay outfit. So, I decided to steal their idea. This cost me a little bit more than I wanted to, but I couldn't find anybody selling just the hat. So went on eBay and I got this guy because he's wearing a Ghostbusters logo hat so how oh, easily yeah check it out it's one of the wrestling figures I did not collect these because I was like mm, okay I didn't get the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover figures I didn't get the My Little Pony Ghostbusters crossover figure and I didn't get the wrestling figures, but I kind of decided that it would be good to have Shawn Michaels' uh, Ghostbusters hat here. So let me see how quickly I can get this out of there and pop it onto my own selfie series figure. Because have you guys ever seen me do a Ghostbusters event where I wasn't wearing this hat? I mean, I always, always have it on. So yeah, it's kind of ridiculous the amount of money I paid for this hat, but go take that off and put that right there on me i don't remember who had that idea on facebook but <laughs> i was like i gotta do that man that's the only thing that's gonna make this figure look more like me or going and buying uh some little tiny custom spectacles to put on all three of our figures uh so there we go three selfie series figures no waiting hold yours up zach all right what do you guys think they're really cool looking. They are really cool. Looking. Yeah, Orion's yours looked great in the digital capture. Let me look at it one more time. I mean, if you were if you were glancing at these, they all say rookie. They all we all need to put on turtlenecks right now. But if yeah, I mean, I know that's Zach, and it doesn't look exactly like the one that I had already sent in for me. And yours Di really looks it's a like you, Orion. So. Yeah, and the hair's different. Uh, we we intentionally got different hairstyles. Uh, for mine and Zach's. Mine has more of a part. Yours looks more like when you had it uh, cropped really short. Yeah. Uh, and Orion's is a different style. So we got three different styles, um, three different facial captures. I think we chose the same hair color for me and Zach and probably the same skin color for all three, but that just makes sense, you know. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there are our three. Uh, well, you're a little swarthier than we are. You've got granddaddy's coloration, and he's got my sister and mine's coloration, so... All right. And I wasn't going to do an unboxing on these because I was like, well, I mean, it's really just my purchase. You know, it's exclusive to me. How is this information going to help anybody? But my friend Chris in Tupelo, or in, in uh, what's the city where he lives? You said it earlier. Uh, Mississippi. Yeah, well, that's the state. Um, Saltillo. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. So he lives in Saltillo, uh, uh, right outside of Tupelo there. And um, he was like... I feel like the more unboxing videos people do of these, uh, the more informed purchase that other people are going to be able to make, uh, whether or not they want to get one for themselves. And I was like, well, that's a valid point. Now, we heard that the price was going to go up by $20, which was why we jumped on it in the two-day first window there uh, and got these a couple of days apart. I think I ordered mine on, like... Friday, you guys ordered y'all's on Saturday, and it was weeks different uh, for us to get them. I mean, that's how big the initial response was, but um, 
that's how many people ordered because it took y'all that much longer than me to get yours. He's got a pack. He's got a, a trap with green yeah. light around it and everything. And he's got the name patch on his. What's his say? Um, Michaels. Oh, you give Shawn Michaels his own name tag, but you don't give us? How much did he pay for his figure? I'd like to know. I think you could have at least put our names on him. Oh, man. man. I'm fine with the rookie. I, well, you you have often... He's obsessed with the rookie name patch, uh, thanks to uh, David Rookie Rayleigh. They gave him one at a uh, at an Alabama Ghostbusters convention one time. Uh, he's been obsessed with rookie ever since. Um, he was little, maybe nine-ish, and we were going to something. And uh, he said, uh, so I guess I'll be the rookie. He was already playing the video game and everything. I said, well, actually, yeah. there's a guy in the Alabama Ghostbusters, rookie, um, that goes by that. And uh, so we got there, and I mentioned that story just in passing to David Rookie Rayleigh. And he goes, uh, he, we did a group photo with, uh, remember, it was Robin Shelby and Ernie mm -hmm. Hudson that day. And so afterwards, he walks up to Zach, and he goes, you know, I was thinking... There's no reason why there can't be more than one rookie, and he had a spare patch that he had cut off of something and presented it to you. And there's there's pictures of you just like staring at this thing, just right. And that's his that's one of his handles on all of his video games and everything is rookie. So yeah, he does not mind his action figure saying rookie on it because he actually identifies with that character. But uh, you and me, you know, <laughs> probably more than I should. Yeah. That's for sure. We paid more for these figures than Shawn Michaels paid for his. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> for that much money, it ought to dance. <laughs> oh, but then it, it wouldn't be an action figure if it, well I know I, I, the, that was an old uh, Louis Anderson comedy routine quote so and these have packs with them I'm presuming uh, yeah. but what was what I thought would be really cool was if you wanted to you could uh, use the selfie series as a way to get your own action figure of Ivan Reitman and Jason Reitman but how would you get a how would you get a scan of them I don't know. You'd almost have to like have a, a 3D printer involved as it is to get that. Yeah. So they come with a pack, and I'm guessing this is a Proton Stream or something. And this is the new uh, plasticless packaging that uh, some of the toy companies are going over to. So there's a pack, and I'm assuming the thrower in this little paper bag that's sealed with tape. Yeah, it's a thrower and a proton stream. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll slice that open later. <clears throat> but, and then here is the figure. You can see it a little better in there. Um, I guess you just pull that piece out, and you're ready to go. Once you, oh, it's got the ties on the back. Yeah, so anyway, that is uh, our reaction to purchasing three of these things when we thought the price was going to go up later. And then I think Chris said that the prices are still the same uh, for these, that they never did go up that extra $20 that they Set up straight. There we go. So he's just as tall as the rest of us. So, <laughs> all right. Anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> this is already a 13 minute long video. Happy with your purchase? Yeah, I am. Good, because y'all just... aren't getting anything for Christmas. <laughs> Sorry. We had Christmas in November. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What were you going to say? You were glad something. I'm just glad to have them. <laughs> glad to have them. Yep. I mean, it's a lot cooler than the Steel Brigade. I'll say that. Hasbro has come a long way since the 80s uh, with their ability to give you a personalized action figure. Do I think the technology is where it needs to be yet? No. Um, but, uh, you know, you take enough selfie photos of yourself, you get a good one, you um, send it in, you pay the money, you get an action figure. So... Of any kind. I would it get have to be always uh, Ghostbusters. Good point. In the future. Do what? I, I would get the main be your yeah, real in the, name. In the future, they could work on having your real name printed on these things. But, like, the Ghostbusters figure would be the only one they would do that with. Because they've got, like, a Snake Eyes figure for the Joe collection. They've got the... They won't ever do it's that. Not, it's not going to have anything on his that would be personalized, printed on the body. So the bodies, they just got a whole factory full of bodies for Ghostbusters, for um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, for Stormtroopers, for Star Wars, for uh, G.I. Joe figures, for uh, G.I. Joe, whatever uh, branch you want to do there. It's not just Ghostbusters, as Zach pointed out. And I guess that's the reason why the Ghostbusters figures would be an additional charge uh, if you did want something printed on the body, because otherwise from the neck down, these are all the same toy. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I would like the necks to have been flesh tone. I would like the name tags to have been personalized. I think that would have been a slightly better 
And uh, hey, give us the option for glasses somehow. I don't know. I don't know how you would do it, but a lot of people wear glasses. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was educational to you. And uh, we'll see you later on.